1158, 11.59, midnight. It's finally my 21st birthday, the one birthday to rule them all. I'm spending it in London, where I'm studying abroad, in a really cute neighborhood, with plans to try one of the coolest dessert places in the city the next day. I should be sleeping, or FaceTiming my family, or treating myself to Netflix and hot chocolate. But instead, I'm writing. Writing about how shocked I am that I made it this far, and how I don't deserve to live because I'm a waste of space with no friends and nothing to contribute to society. Writing about how I want to kill myself. Two months before that, I'm visiting Paris with some people I met abroad, and there's a bridge we pass every day. And every day, as I post pictures at the Eiffel Tower and eat the best chocolate croissants of my life, all I can think about is what would happen if I threw myself off that bridge. I spent my entire life feeling like I didn't belong, like I was different from everyone else. When I was younger, I used to call myself ghost girl because that's how I felt, invisible. Books became my solace and characters my friends. When people would ask me who I was closest to, I would say Matilda Wormwood, Lizzie Bennet, Hermione Granger. The magic of the fantasy worlds between the pages started to feel more real to me than my own life did. It was hard to feel present in a world where I felt like I wasn't seen or wanted, so I just wasn't. Escape became my method of dealing with everyday life, and it was how I decided to cope with my feelings, by pretending they didn't exist. I was severely depressed in middle school and high school, but you wouldn't think that if you saw me. I didn't even think that. I kept throwing myself into what was expected of me while ignoring the fact that I was burning out. Club executive boards, honor societies, and AP classes lined my resume. Trophies from choir, gymnastics, and Indian singing competitions lined my bookshelf at home. I never felt like I was physically, intellectually, or emotionally enough. I thought the hollow, weightless feeling inside me was just a sign that I wasn't doing enough to deserve happiness. I wanted to erase who I was. I started to feel even more isolated from my peers when talking about classes turned into talking about crushes. I didn't understand why I never wanted to be in a relationship, and I thought it meant there was something wrong with me. In a society that places so much emphasis on romantic love, I was an aberration. Aberration, that's a big word. Ever since I learned how to read, I've been filled to the brim with words, words that threatened to spill out of me on several occasions, but never did, because I was too afraid of how people would react if I asked for help. So those words of despair, of emptiness, of hate, I carried them with me my entire life, all the way to college, when finally I, fi I learned a new word, asexuality. To me, it means I don't feel romantic or physical attraction to anyone of any gender. It means that when I say I'm ace, I don't just mean I'm good at math. But most importantly, it means there is nothing wrong with me. In choosing this word, I am choosing community. I am choosing identity instead of invisibility. After spending so long in the shadows, I am choosing to let people see me. Maybe you feel like it's easy for me to stand on the stage and tell you all of this. After all, now you're the ones in the shadows, and for once, I'm in the spotlight. But let me tell you a little secret. I don't have it all figured out. I still feel like a ghost girl, and there are definitely more hard days than easy ones. But here's another word for you, or I guess three. Work in progress. That's what I am. It's what you are. It's what we all are. Every day, we grow and change and learn something new about ourselves. Every day, we find something to keep living for. We are never finished, and that's OK. My mark, it isn't this speech. It's what happens after. It's me reaching my 22nd birthday next month. It's the book I may one day write that helps a little girl believe in magic. It's right after I get off the stage, or a week from now, or a year, when someone comes up to me and tells me they think they might be ace too. And whatever happens, I'll be there for them, because I've decided I don't want to die. <laughs> My name, Nisha, means night, but I refuse to stick to the darkness. Instead, I pledge to shine a light on asking for help, on embracing who you are, even when you spend your entire life wishing you didn't exist. But I can't do that on my own. In fact, I don't want to do that on my own. Will you help me? Because 
Here's another word for you. Together. Together we can spread acceptance instead of stigma. We can remind the people in our lives that everyone deserves love, especially ourselves. Together we can make sure that no one ever feels invisible again. <laughs>